Hey guys, it's Doc, and today I'm going to walk you through some lawn renovations and show you some pretty amazing stuff when it comes to restoring some lawns that were, we'll call them crappy lawns, and now they look pretty good. So hold on one sec. Oh no, here come the kids. Here come all the kids. Everybody just calm down. Everybody just calm down. It was tasty. It was tasty. Hey guys. So uh, I'm sitting here trying to figure out how to do this. Because <laughs> I have a lot of video. And I'm like, man, I'm not going to put up a 30 minute video to show you lawn renovations. If you've been following some of our videos, some of these will make sense, and if you haven't, some of them won't. So i got to kind of put this together in such a way that you'll understand. So I'm going to break this apart. I think I'm going to show you three lawns. Lawn number one, I'm going to go over to around the neighborhood. There was a huge lawn that I did. Basically, we just put out 10-10-10 on this lawn. He didn't have any budget, didn't even own a spreader. It's a massive property that he's owned for 15 years. And I'm just like, man, let's just go dump 10, 10, 10 on it. A whole bunch of 10, 10, 10. We'll worry about fixing it next spring because he's got so much crabgrass over there that we really need to attack that with pre-emergent. And it's amazing just fixing the soil, what was done over there. So that's lawn number one, that big project. Lawn number two, I'm going to show you. Uh, a couple months ago, I went over to a neighbor. They knocked on my door. Hey, I've got this problem. I went over and identified it. and It was a grub problem horrible the whole yard just full of brown patches well i'm going to show you the lawn again today we'll go over there then i'm going to take you i promised you i did that all in one day treatment again email or knock on the door can you help me it was ron down the street using a national company spray company and uh, i said yeah i'll go ahead and do it well i put everything down in one day to help to help people understand that I put down fungicide insecticide I put down PGF complete I sprayed with super juice all in a matter of two hours I did that every single thing to his lawn right then and there and I'm going to show you kind of the finished product six or seven days later really that lawn is not going to be completely renovated for 20 to 30 days because of all the bare spots the Bermuda really needs to thicken up and shoot in there, which it's starting to do. But I'll, instead of putting this video off for another three weeks, I figured I'd go ahead and show you what it looks like after six and a half days of doing that. It's starting to come back and it's amazing what happens. So uh, I'm gonna go one, two, and three, and I may even include an update on the world's worst Bermuda lawn over here, because that patch over there is just amazing. It was just raw weeds and dirt. There's nothing and now all of a sudden it's really thick. So before we start on that, I'm going to take you over to the big lawn first. Before we start on that, I'm going to warn you guys. I warned you in the last fall video, I put up a fall schedule, that PGF Complete is what you want to use in the fall, whether you have warm season or cool season grass. It's a 4-1-2 ratio, 16-4-8, has all your nutrients, has humic acid. It is the fall fertilizer to use, but it's selling out like crazy. There's another shipment that's going to be hitting Amazon at the end of this week. I guarantee you that shipment will sell out probably in about six days. There's another shipment that's following that. That'll last probably about two or three weeks. So just keep in mind that when you go to the when you go to our website, there's a link in the description below. When you go to this page, I'll have a link to the PGF complete. And uh, if it shows that it says currently unavailable, don't worry, it'll be back in stock. Just come back and check it again because you won't be able to find it on Amazon. You'll only be able to find it on our site. And when it comes available, order. Now, I've been ordering bags of it, pre-ordering bags of it. And I'm telling you, stock up for the fall because you're going to need it. So anyways, let's go ahead and let's just go out to this other video. I'll show you the big lawn first. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a little trip around the neighborhood. I'm going to go way around the block over here, and I'm going to show you a lawn that I worked on. What's this been, two months? This is a huge property, which is close to 60,000 square feet. It's a real nice couple very limited budget they've owned this house for almost 15 years probably nothing has been done to it very little fertilizer very little lawn care products I did a video about an ugly lawn and I used them as an example fixing an ugly lawn 
And basically what I did, I'm gonna show you the difference back then and today. I told them, let's just get a ton of nutrients down. That's the first step is fix your soil. Fix your soil, fix your soil, fix your soil. So I told him to put down a bunch of 10, 10, 10. So he put down 10, 10, 10. He actually didn't have a spreader. I let him borrow my spreader. He put down 10, 10, 10. I said, it's cheap, just go buy 10, 10, 10. He told me how much he put down. I said, go put more down. So the next week he went and put more down. We put close to two pounds per thousand square feet of 10, 10, 10. And I'm gonna show you this lawn, which is probably about six weeks later, maybe eight weeks later. And the difference is amazing. I'm gonna put up footage of what it did look like we're gonna go down and I'm gonna shoot footage again today so you can compare it what it looks like now so hold on okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna sort of walk you through this footage I shot this with my drone and I had a camera in my hand but look at all the bare spots especially now keep in mind look at the driveway look at all those bare spots near the driveway I want you to keep that in mind for the next for the footage I'm about to put up we'll look at the front lawn the front lawn is like 30% bare. There's almost no grass in there. The same thing happens on the back lawn as well too, but there's a little bit of Bermuda in here. The rest of it is dead or it's crabgrass. Like look next to the tree. See how there's almost nothing green there whatsoever? There's a little bit of Bermuda growing. And then when we go on back to the big area, the same thing. It's pretty sparse. There's not a whole lot going on. Uh, just a little bit of Bermuda here and there. And the whole property is basically this way. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch over and I'm going to show you what it looks like today. Okay, now understand this lawn has a lot of issues still. We've got a ton of crabgrass, ton of weeds, but at least it's full. <laughs> at least it's all filled in. We put out a little bit of seed here too. So we got a bunch of different stuff. Really, we got to wait for next year to get down pre-emergent. That's the key. And that's why I said just put down 10, 10, 10 just to fill up the lawn and watch. So here's what this lawn looks like today. Now, when you're driving by here, this looks fantastic. Obviously, when you come up on it, it's full of crabgrass. There's crabgrass all through here. But what this soil correction has done has basically caused all this Bermuda to explode, even, even weeds to explode, but at least it's all green and it looks good. Again, this is a massive yard, close to 60,000 square feet. And look at, um, like this area up here, this had this was all bare two months ago. So this is the back side of the property. Again, you can see it's just this massive front yard over here. Absolutely massive. You can put two houses over here. Then we come along the then we come along the front. And again, I wanted to show you, I saw this last night. See, we have we have runners. Now that runner looks like common Bermuda right there. But there's lots of runners in certain areas. So my guess is he threw down some type of fertilizer over here. Look at it. It's all filled in nice. The majority of it is Bermuda with some of it crabgrass. Remember this? This was all bare in here. And look at the front. <laughs> That's just amazing. Now. All this up front, this is all crabgrass right here. That's all crabgrass, but I'm not gonna kill it because there's not enough time, I don't think, for this Bermuda to take over. Let's wait for next year. So uh, we'll take, we'll hit that all next year with pre-emergent. That just looks fantastic though. Okay, so while we're at it, let's stop at one other house down here. Um, and the reason being is, is this yard had a huge amount of grub damage. 
Now I'm going to put up some footage of what this yard looked like two months ago. And I told them to put down uh, the double kill product. And I believe we put out a little bit of PGF complete along with a little bit of 10, 10, 10 too. And it's been almost two months. And unfortunately, these people leave their grass too long and they only cut it like every two weeks. That's one of their problems. But I wanted to show you this because it looks fantastic. I mean, for what it, what it was, considering we've been through droughts and everything else, um, it really does look good. Let me figure out which house it is up here. Now this is that same lawn. So this is that same lawn that had all that grub damage earlier in the year. I think it's almost three months ago. But again, you can tell they let their grass get too high. This was just cut, I think, yesterday, and it's still like three inches. They have someone come by and cut it every other week, which is way not enough. But look at that. You can tell that we've sort of solved this whole grub issue with that, uh, with that double kill. Looks like a normal, normal Bermuda lawn that needs to be kept shorter. It's looking great. All right, so this is what's going on all over the neighborhood. Almost every yard I see this in. And what we're talking about is these kind of dead spots here. You can see it's all over the yard here. Like right in here. And I still have Bermuda coming up, but man, it's just dead. So, we're going to come up with a solution here. One day treatment to fix it. Okay guys, so I'm going to, here's what I'm going to do. Here's how I'm going to do this footage for you and tell you, explain exactly what I'm going to do. So this is basically for the average homeowner. Maybe you've had a national company come out and been spraying your yard and your yard still looks like crap. That's half the lawns in this neighborhood. When those companies come out, they're basically spraying like a 3005. That's all they're doing. Maybe in the spring, they'll put down a little pre-emergent, maybe in the fall, maybe a little weed killer. But that's just not enough to fix the lawn when you've got problems like this. So I'm gonna walk you through the steps that I did. So number one, and, and here's, here's what I determined. I don't know exactly what's wrong with this lawn. It might be fungus, it might be bugs, but I know it doesn't, hasn't had a full healthy feeding. So we're gonna put all that down. We're gonna put down, I'm gonna cut the yard. So that's the first thing I did. The first thing I did was I cut the yard and I brought it down kind of short. Step number two. Step number two was to put out PGF complete. So we put out PGF complete. And I put it out just a little bit above the normal rate. Step number three was I put out a granular fungicide. Step number four, step number four was I put out a granular bugicide, insecticide. I put out the double kill. Step number five is I mixed up a special solution of super juice. I took super juice, I mixed in a liquid fungicide and a liquid bug killer, permethrin, and I sprayed that on top of everything I just did. So, I cut the lawn, I put out PGF complete, I put out uh, fungicide and I put out insecticide, and then we started to water it. And we, I told them, we'll keep watering it until we get some rain. And fortunately, we had some decent rains move in. So we did all that treatment all at once, the same day within two hours, and I said, water it, water it until the rain comes. And then we got rain and so, after all that was done, it's gonna take about 20 to 30 days for this lawn to completely heal. But I wanted, I did wanna take you down, this is six and a half days after the treatment. I wanna show you what it looks like six and a half days later. And this is what everyone's finding. If you go to PGF Complete, um, 
reviews on our website there's a little icon there and you can see people are starting to send in their pictures of the results with the PGF complete and I'm telling you if you'll put the PGF complete down and start watering it every single night for about 20 30 minutes activate it get it working in until the rain start to move in within six seven days you'll see this real dark blue green start to happen that's what happens you'll see this growth explosion happen on these testing lines we've done we've got double the growth on the testing lines versus non-testing it's just absolutely amazing so let me take you down and show you what it looks like six days after morning so I just happened to stop by here this morning this is Sunday and you can see what the lawn looks like right now it's starting to darken up starting to thicken up a little bit there's a lot of bare areas in here that are just going to take time I mean it's going to take several weeks but we've had a little bit of rain not much but we're gonna have thunderstorms today hopefully and man it'll be great to see what this lawn looks like in about another week or so once it gets some good water all right <clears throat> well there's still a lot of dew on the grass so it's a little bit hard to see but that looks a lot better already you can see how it's dark green it's really starting to <laughs> grow aggressively again we're six days in we're still not going to have any filling in. In other words, these bare spots here are still going to be bare spots. We're not going to get a lot of that rhizome shoot growth yet. That's going to take, oh, probably 20 to 30 days. But, man, you can see a difference already. That's pretty cool. Completely dark green. Start to completely change the overall look of this thing. That's pretty cool. Well, I'm just making sure I can cut this because it looks a little bit wet. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to give it a few more hours. I do want to cut it. I might cut it tomorrow, actually. Come back down and show you tomorrow, but that really does look a lot better. So anyways, guys, the summary of this video is, is number one, if you haven't tried PGF Complete, do a test strip of it. Order one bag and test it out. The results are absolutely amazing with this stuff. Just test an area with it, that's all I'm saying. But you can put down multiple treatments and the fall is not the time to wait. If you, When you go into the fall, you wanna get down as, many, as much of this treatment as you possibly can and get your lawn ready because all you wanna do in the fall is you just want your lawn healthy. That's all you wanna do. Make sure you click that subscribe button because I got some really cool videos that are coming up. I'm gonna do a custom built shed I'm going to order a custom built shed online. I'm going to install the custom built shed online. What else do I got going? I got all kinds of videos coming out. So click the subscribe button. You don't want to miss it. I'll talk to you later. Done.